All right, Fight Fans, welcome to TXC Legends 3, the professional card about to get underway. Rick Ogden making his way to the cage for his debut fight. Rick weighed in at 135.8 pounds. Making his way from the other side of the state. K Zoo, Kalamazoo in the house. Five eight and 135 pounds. Going to enjoy a little bit of a reach advantage over his opponent, Anthony Fleming. Anthony Fleming coming in in one and zero as a pro, but with an extensive amateur background. Put your hands together for Anthony Scoops Fleming! All right, Anthony Scoops Fleming, 5'7", weighed in at 135.2 pounds. 1-0 and is a professional. Coming to us out of Ypsilanti, Michigan. Fighting out of Mash Gym, coached by Todd Ali and Big Don Richard. Again, Anthony with a very extensive amateur record, both in quantity and quality of fights. Spent the last couple of years getting ready to make this debut. Fighting some of the best amateurs in Michigan. A lot of the guys he he's fought in the past as an amateur have already and long since made the leap to the professional ranks. Anthony wanted to make sure that he was dialed in, had all the holes of his game plugged before he made that leap. This fight could promise to be a stylistic matchup between the two. Rick Ogden looking very much like a boxer. Anthony Fleming, solid hands, but would much rather wrestle it to the ground. All right, fight fans, this fight is brought to you by PatinoDiet.com. It'll be three five-minute rounds and your referee in charge is Brandon Gallo. To my left, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed 135 pounds, stands five foot eight inches tall, making his debut in the cage tonight. He is representing Kalamazoo, or he's representing Kalamazoo, Michigan. Put your hands together for Rick Rumpanchogden! And to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, also weighing 135 pounds, stands five foot seven inches tall, comes to us with an undefeated record of one win, no losses. He is trained by Todd Ali and Don Richard, representing Ypsilanti, Mash Gym, Fuse MMA, and Chicago. Put your hands together for Anthony Scoops Fleming! All right, fight fans, when we get started, Rick Ogden fighting out of the red corner in the white trimmed in black fight shorts. Anthony Scoops Fleming fighting out of the blue corner. Black mass shorts trimmed in red and white. Kira, what do you know about Rick Ogden? You know, he's one of those guys that comes out and throws haymakers. He likes to stand and bang. And he looks for that lucky punch. So, you know, and, and Anthony knows this about him. He's coming out as a southpaw. And, but I, I feel like he may switch it up. 
But looking at that low kick, I mean, you want to drop somebody's hands, get them thinking about that, and then maybe come over top of that overhand left. You know, Scoop's a little flat-footed. You know, you got to watch sometimes. He's always a little flat-footed, yeah. though. He likes, he'd rather get in close. And, and which is fine, you know, make those moves. See, this is where I feel I try to train my guys to attack, after the kick attack, because that takes some time for someone to set up, and they typically aren't following. You know, you get an idea if they're going to follow with something. Oh, and he shoots from eight feet back, but that's nice some success. Nice shot and rolls it speed. right through. Speed. I mean, he's got so much speed that Anthony's going to have to contend with. He's got he's got all this speed, but he's putting himself. He's got to be careful. Scoops Fleming looking to set up the Von Flu choke here, Cade side. I feel like uh, I'm vindicated after all these years, and you can see now Rick Ogden looking to defend that shoulder choke. He's in a lot of trouble. The separation starting to occur now along the side of the neck, getting a little bit of breathing room. Well, he surprised. needs to come off of that left arm over the head of Scoops Fleming, or he's going to find himself shoulder choked out here. He's well, I'm surprised he even shot to, to close the gap. I mean, he was having success standing. He did, and di didn't feel anything from Anthony before he Kira, shot. Sure, that was the quickest long-distance shot <laughs> I've <was>. ever seen. <laughs> it, it looked like I was watching gonna, the Matrix. If you're going to shoot from that far, that's how fast you better be. <laughs> Absolutely, and he shot right through Scoops Fleming and then rolled him through, but now in a little bit of trouble. And dropping heavy leather is, is Scoops and looking to get out of that quickly. Rick Ogden wants no more of that. Oh, and giving his back to Anthony. We'll see. Oh, looking for the body Straight lock. Straight body Anthony. lock. Kerry, he's in a oh, lot of trouble. There's that quick tap. And I'll tell you what, Fleming held on to it for a little longer than he probably should have. I don't know what went on before this fight. That, this is the first time I've ever seen Anthony Fleming lose on the athleticism end of it. But Rick Ogden, just not the polished and refined skill set that Anthony Fleming brought into the cage. And in the end, it's the training that wins out and wins out in wonderful style. Anthony Fleming able to keep his head as things developed very quickly here in this cage. Moving to 2-0 as a professional. Into the cage, Kara K.O. Rowe with your official Triple X cage fighting decision. All right, fight fans, your winner of this first fight of the evening with one minute and 44 seconds in the first round by Rene Gachoff. Give it up for Anthony Scoops Fleming. All right, quickly, Anthony, uh, talk to me a little bit about this fight. I know you were surprised by that shot, eight feet out and the quickness of it. Uh, first and foremost, I always want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, yeah. He caught, me, he caught me by surprise with the takedown. I was expecting him just to bang it out with me. But when he caught me with the uh, shot, I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess we'll wrestle. Uh, I told, like I said, I stayed in the interview. Wherever he wants to take the fight, I'm prepared mentally for it. I knew if he wanted to bang, I was hoping he wanted to bang. I wanted to test my hands out tonight. But he wanted to wrestle, play the grappling game. I'm, I'm awesome at that, so I was like, whatever. Let's play it. <laughs> All right, well, there's people from watching from all over the world, and I'm sure some people in Chicago as well. You're back and forth training here and there. Anyone that you need to thank to prepare you for this fight? Uh, yeah, I want to thank my sponsor, Resilient, MMA, uh, thank Todd, Ali, Don Richards, Tommy. Kick some butt tonight. I hope you, you can beat Ben tonight. We'll bash Jim all the way. All right, congratulations. I want to thank my family and friends for coming out. I love you guys, my beautiful girlfriend. Love all you guys. Thank you. All right, once again, let's give it up for Anthony Scoops Fleming! Scoops Fleming moving to 2-0 as a pro here in this TXC cage. It's been exciting to watch him 